to help Wulai residents return their lives to normal as soon as possible, more than 3,000 people from all walks of life showed up to offer their assistance on August 16th. Thanks to joint efforts, the shops and houses on Wulai and Wenchun streets have gradually returned to their original state. <laughs> On the third day of Tsuji's cleanup operation in Wulai district, more than 3,000 volunteers arrived to help. The volunteers washed their residents' clothes as well as cleaning items from their kitchen cabinet. Among the volunteers are child anchors from Da ITV, entrepreneurs in addition to local and overseas Tsuji volunteers. <laughs> I went to the activity center in Guisan Borough on the 9th on behalf of Tsuji International Humanitarian Aid Association. And the scene was terrible. So we drove the bulldozer there and brought a water purifier. Taking part in a cleanup effort helps accumulate merit. In addition, our effort, which represents love from around the world, can encourage the residents. Besides the elderly volunteers, there are also more than 100 Sichings present many of them coming from central and southern Taiwan. We recruit volunteers using internet sites such as Facebook. Many people here at the master say that although many city volunteers are cleaning up in the affected areas, why haven't any young people joined them? So many Tsuchings thought they should come. If we can give of ourselves, we should seize every opportunity to serve others and learn. It started raining in the early afternoon, but the volunteers continue their work wearing raincoats, fearlessly braving the rains. Young people are not the only ones here. People who can come have come. Helping their fellow countrymen in the wake of Typhoon Saudalor, these volunteers have shown an outpouring of love and support in these times of need.